So then what if they don't pay you? That's when you have that bad debt that, that arises. Caution. So you can take a bad debt deduction for these accounts and notes receivable only if the amount you were owed was included in your gross income, either for the year the deduction is claimed or for a prior year. In other words, usually the accounting system, for example, when you enter an invoice, if you're using like QuickBooks or something, it's going to increase accounts receivable and the other side's going to go to revenue when you enter the invoice. Accounts receivable is an accrual account. What happens in the following year, let's say it happened next year, that they didn't pay you the accounts receivable for a sale that was made last year. Well, you, the, the, the justification for writing off the bad debt is that you recorded it in income last year, right? You recorded income even though you did not yet collect the money. So this year they owed you the money, uh, but they didn't pay you the money and you're, you've decided that you're never going to get the money. Well, that's what would justify writing off the expense because you recorded it in income last year, then you should be able to write it off as an expense uh, this year, which would be like a business uh, deduction. If you were on a cash based system and you were somehow still tracking the fact that you did work and they owed you money, but you weren't actually recording revenue at the point in time that you invoiced the client in essence when you did the work, which would be a little bit more of a funny kind of bookkeeping system because you would have to be tracking accounts receivable some way without recording revenue at the point in time that you earned it. But so you're trying to stay in a cash based system. In other words, even though you have a business that's kind of accrual based because you have to track accounts receivable, well, then you would have never recorded the, the receivable and therefore you don't get the deduction because you never recorded the revenue in the first place because you were using a cash based system. All right. Accrual method. So if you use an accrual method of accounting, you normally report income as you earn it. Now, again, if you have to track accounts receivable for a small business and you're using accounting software and you're tracking who owes you the money, then most likely the system is going to be recording revenue on an accrual based system. So, so that's just going to be the default typically. So you can uh, take bad debt deduction for an uncollectible receivable if you have included the uncollectible amount in income, which typically will be the case because you will have recorded it in income when accounts receivable went up because that's when you invoice the client. But if you're using a cashed method, if you use the cash method of accounting, you normally report income when you receive payment which again would be an unusual method, method to use if you're in the type of business where you have to invoice the client and track the accounts receivable. Now, some software like a QuickBooks, for example, you can kind of toggle the accounting method between accrual and cashed method. So, so maybe you're still trying to do your taxes kind of on a cash method, even though you're tracking the accounts receivable and you're not recording uh, and you're recording revenue when you actually collect the cash. But if that were the case, then of course, you would have to use the cash method consistently. And, and that would mean that you would never have recorded the revenue when you invoice the client because, because you're on a cash based method, and you haven't yet received the cash, which means that if they never pay you, you don't get a deduction because you never recorded the income in the first place. So you cannot take a bad debt deduction for the amounts owed to you that you have not received and cannot collect if you never include those amounts in income.